So this is gonna be a quick ATP test of a before and after um, ATP reading off of a computer mouse. Um, we're gonna use Permasafe step one to do a disinfection of the surface. Um, and we're gonna measure before and after using these ultra snap swabs uh, from Hygienia and an ATP luminometer to actually do the measurement. So first things first, I'm gonna turn the ATP luminometer on. It self calibrates itself. It'll do a uh, 15 second countdown. I'll just leave that here while it does it. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the new swabs. You can tell it's new because the liquid uh, is still on the top of the reservoir and that blue tab is not broken. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this swab out. And I'm going to do a cross hatch on this computer mouse. So back and forth. and down and I'm also twisting the swab in my hand as I'm taking that test I'm going to take that sample without touching it I'm only touching the uh, plastic I'm going to drop it back in the tube I'm going to grab this blue tab inside this reservoir and I'm going to break it by bending it back and forth and squeeze it so it drops all the fluid into the bottom. I'm gonna shake this for about 10 seconds, whoops. I'm gonna open up the lid. I'm gonna drop the swab into the slot, close the lid, and I'm gonna press okay. And you wanna make sure that the device stays perfectly vertical. So I'm gonna set it down on the counter and it does a 15 second countdown. And then we'll give you a measurement uh, in RLUs. So there's 212 uh, relative light units of ATP on this particular surface. I'm gonna go ahead and take the bottle that I pre-filled with uh, Permasafe step one. I'm gonna spray the computer mouse and let it sit. Now, while that is um, being treated, um, anything that's left on this surface after a couple of minutes is just water. The, the bond and the disinfection will have already happened. Um, so if you are treating a surface that, uh, that does have a collection of liquid on it, after a couple of minutes, you can just wipe it off with a, a microfiber or an otherwise clean towel. While that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and take the swab out of this ATP meter. So this is the used swab, I'm gonna put this over here. We have a brand new swab here. I'll just leave this here ready to go. For the sake of the demo, I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know, accelerate this a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the residue with a clean microfiber towel. So that it's at least dry. I'm gonna take our new ATP swab, open it up. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna take my cross hatch back and forth, and up and down, and I'm twisting it while I'm doing it. I'm gonna put it back in the tube. Same as before, I'm gonna break the blue tab on top and drop the luciferous fluid into the tube. I'm gonna shake this for 10 seconds. I'm gonna take this sample, I'm gonna drop it into the slot again, close the lid, press OK, make sure it stays completely vertical.
after reading of 37. So um, that is obviously a fraction of the, um, of the cure time and the treatment time that it requires. And that's only step one, that's before step two treatment. Um, and we're a fraction of where we started. Um, but that is a simple, um, quick version of an ATP test.